Hello there everybody, it's Sally Cathcart here and welcome back to another Tuesday Teaching Tips. Now, last week when I was doing the first Tuesday Teaching Tips of this academic year, I kind of threw open the, the questions to you and said, you know, I'd love, I'd love you to, to send me some questions and somebody has. And um, one teacher has asked me to see if I can clarify a little bit the situation with the ABRSM exam options that are available and I think the best thing for me to do is to share with you my personal viewpoint of what I'm going to be doing and um, we'll also be sharing with you very soon and probably just above this post the fact that we are actually hosting a webinar with ABRSM on Friday this week where they're going to be coming and talking about the performance grades because of course with ABRSM we have the um, the practical music exam and the and we now have performance grades and the uh, practical music making exam is just exactly the same as it has been before with the need for three pieces and the need for scales and sight reading and oral tests that hasn't changed and it's going to be in person face to face if and when that is possible who knows the new offering however is, are these performance grades and for me, that's what I'm going to be using this term. So from my point of view, I had a couple of students who were going to be doing an exam in the summer. And of course, they didn't happen. Now, my students don't do exams very often, maybe every couple of years when the time is right or when we feel that we, we just want that. So there's a bit of a cycle going on. And they had started, we had started sort of in February to really prepare for these exams with learning the repertoire. And then of course it all got cancelled. So I have um, my two boys uh, ready to do grade two and grade three with, we kept learning them last term, the pieces, because they were enjoying them and uh, we wanted a performance opportunity anyhow. And so this term they're going to, I've spoken to both of them, I've spoken to the parents and we're going to do the performance grades, which means they have a concert opportunity. This is what I tell them it's like. It's like going onto a, a, a concert stage and you're going to perform your four pieces back to back, end to end, and you've got to prepare for that performance. And you've also got to make sure that when you are uh, up there performing, you are communicating, you are telling your story, you are bringing your music making to life. And that, you could see, made them go, oh, yeah, I kind of get that idea of going to a concert and, and being on the stage and performing on stage, because they've all done that. Um, so I think for them, that feels like a really positive thing. It feels like a really positive thing for me as well. We know that the, um, the, the, the actual performance grades recordings have to be done they have to be submitted anyhow by later on in October and um, and they are really looking forward to polishing those pieces and getting them ready for that performance exam and what I'm going to be doing in the run-up to it obviously we're just back from the summer holidays now and in fact I'm so, I saw one of them yesterday I recorded his pieces my end so I can give him some feedback because I'm still teaching online and the other one I'm seeing this afternoon, again, I'll do the same. I'll record the pieces, then I'll give them some feedback on bits and bobs. And we'll have two or three weeks of working on the pieces. And then I shall get them together to do an online workshop together where they play to each other and give each other feedback. And that's an important role as well, that they learn to perform outside their comfort zone. Because as one, one of them said yesterday, do you know, I can play that so much better, Sally. I said, well, yes, you always can of course in the comfort of your own home with no pressure of a teacher or a, or, a, or a video you are able to just stay in the moment a lot more and of course our, as performers we all know that that is really quite hard to do when you're on the spot and whether it's recording or whether it's live in a in a exam room it's going to feel the same it's been really interesting actually we've in the curious piano teachers we have something called a performance hub which um, we all come to once a month and people are playing to each other in small groups. And the number of people who've said, I just get as nervous playing via Zoom as I do when I'm playing in a concert hall. And that's really interesting. 
So this is providing a real concert opportunity, I feel, for our pupils. And I'm certainly very curious to, uh, to work with them towards this and uh, to see how it feels. And the, the thing I really love about this, actually, is that we can really focus on the performance and they get to choose their own piece at that particular level. So they can put a bit of their own personality in. And also they have to think about what pieces they're playing in terms of making sure that they have a lovely kind of performance programme. So that's my own personal view on it. I would love it if you were able to join us for our webinar that we're doing on Friday this week. And it's going to be from 1.30 to 2.30. That's British summer time. We'll be sharing the link very soon um, in a couple of hours or so on uh, on our page here and you just register and come along make sure you come nice and early because i think it's going to be quite popular and we'd love to hear any questions from that you have about the performance grade and uh, we've got mervyn cousins from abrsm the deputy chief examiner um, and ali as well from the syllabus team who is going to be uh, answering your questions so do send us your questions and we hope to see you there on Friday. Okay. Happy teaching. Bye-bye.